fellas, you have to understand something. Connecting with a woman is extremely, extremely powerful. The most powerful emotion in the world, on earth, to be quite honest with you, man. So it's important to understand how powerful sex actually is because a lot of people use sex just to, you know, pacify the um, sexual instinct or to, um, to escape their problems or stress or something a lot of people have sex because they're stressed out or a lot of people become addicted to sex because they stress out but they don't really get to experience it they don't get to enjoy it because sex is a deeper deeper connection than trying to escape from your problems or just to feed the sexual instinct guys when you think about it our mind play a huge role our energy play a huge role when it comes to sex so i'm gonna try my very best to explain um how it works in the brain for you to have uh, a better picture because um it's very important for a guy to know how to touch a woman where to touch a woman because if you don't know bro you're just gonna go on the top of the woman and just do your thing and that's it but you don't get to connect with that person to feel the um the feminine energy you see the whole purpose of um of of sex is to connect the feminine energy and the masculine energy together because you have to know there are two different energies right so connecting them together basically create life i would say look at art like music movies they all use sex because it's a part of us it's a part of it's an it's the instinct it's what control us so it's the reason music they always talk about love they always talk about sex they always talk about how they need someone you know connecting with someone because the connection control who we are it's the emotion it's the mood it's the sensation guys why do you watch all the dating channels and you know you want to know more about women you want to know more about dating it's to attract it's to get women to to experience connection with them you see what i'm saying but to get a woman hook, you have to be able to connect with her on a deeper level. It's not just um, the orgasm. The orgasm is great, yeah, but you have to get on a deeper, deeper level, the mental level. It's the energy inside of your system. Your whole mind basically shuts down for a couple of seconds or something to transfer that energy into the woman to, um, to carry for you. You see, why do you think, you know, your kid look exactly like you, you know, even if you, let's say, not around, your kid going to pick up some of your behavior because it's all of your thoughts, all your genes, everything. Like, it's like a, 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 a picture you took of yourself to transfer inside of the woman to carry for you to bring alive. That's how we stay alive, right? We always, you know, we live until like maybe... Um, 70 or to 100 or something like that after that we leave the world but we have a copy of ourselves still in the world it's the reason sex is very important for us you see what i'm saying to make a photocopy of ourselves it's the reason our instinct crave search to find the opposite sex because it needs feminine energy to recreate itself like you get what i'm saying why do you think guys dress fly buy expensive house buy expensive cars or aim to be powerful it's only to attract the opposite sex and to pacify the hunger instincts because they're all the same right sex instinct hunger instinct everything's the same because our instincts control our mood our hormones but our instinct only care about two things, staying alive and making a copy of itself. Everything we do each day is to stay alive, to search for food, basically, or to have enough food to say that, okay, you know what? I'm satisfied. You see what I'm saying? And we also search for sex to, have, to make a copy of ourselves. Think about when a guy cannot get sex, the way his mind just go crazy, criticizing him. He become depressed. He becomes stressed the hell out because he cannot connect. He can find a suitable mate that would want to connect with him. So a lot of things I talk about in this channel, guys, they're very important because it's what's going to help you become a better version of yourself to, let's say, 
not to go out there and just start sleeping around and acting crazy and become addicted to sex, but our instinct is what it's searched for. Of course, you should learn to control it. You know, you shouldn't be indulging in it. And I would never recommend for you guys to go indulge into sex because you can become extremely, extremely addicted to it and once you become addicted to it you blind from reality you're not going to care about yourself you're not going to care about your future and if you can't get it you're going to become desperate you're going to chase it a lot you're not going to be able to think and constantly you'll be criticizing yourself it's the reason guys i'm saying you shouldn't indulge in it and you shouldn't be you shouldn't become addicted to it and i would also recommend that you stay far away from pornography because it's not good for the mind you see what I'm saying? So, guys, we're dealing with the instinct. Very, very, it's what control us. It's our subconscious. It's what control everything about us. It's what's keeping us alive to navigate the world. Okay, guys? So, to understand the physiology, okay, of um, sex, Okay, we have to go inside of the limbic system. You know how I always talk about the limbic system? The limbic system is our subconscious. It's our um, life. It's what keeps us alive. It's what helps us navigate the world. It's what protects us on a daily basis. Don't you see when someone lying, they know that they're lying, but they're trying to convince someone that they're not lying, but the facial expression just gives them up because the um, the limbic system controlling it. And if you have the truth in your mind, even if you're trying to lie, your limbic system going to reveal the truth. If a person know what to look for, they'll be able to see it for sure. Okay, guys, so the limbic system play a huge role in our lives. Let me let me jump to um, the screen recorder to show you guys. Okay, all right, so this is the limbic system. This is the limbic system, guys. It's where we experience dopamine hit. Um, all the positive, all the good emotion that we chase for, motivation located in the limbic structure. But I'm not going to go through all the um, components. We're only going to focus on the hypothalamus because hypothalamus control um, body temperature. Don't you see when you about to like or oh, you having sex with someone, you sweat a lot and the room temperature very, very high is from the body heat. And the hypothalamus control the body temperature. Okay, guys. So, um, and it also control hunger, thirst, sexual drive, and sense of satisfaction. So when we feel satisfied, it's because the hypothalamus satisfied, you know? Then it reach consciousness that, oh, we happy with what we got. We're good, <laughs> you see? So guys, just keep the hypothalamus in mind, okay? So how do we, let's say, connect with a person so when you see a nice looking woman okay it's basically we use our receptors our senses we use eyes we use smell when a woman smells very good right and uh mainly we use sight and smell so for, you know when you first meet a woman obviously you're just not gonna have sex with her just like oh she's not gonna give you sex just like that so what attracts you is the way let's say she move her body the curve skin you're looking at other receptors from her because you have the skin receptors right i'm gonna go more into it you're looking at all the good things all the good quality that she has especially when it comes to like the shape <laughs> we go crazy over shapes it stimulate our retina, the eyes, to give us like a visual, a vision, a picture of the woman, you know, and automatically it evoked the hypothalamus, it released chemical into our system. Even if the woman looked bad, even if she's not that attracted, to be honest, just the curves, just the stimulation of the hypothalamus is going to make the woman look very, very good. And in your mind, you're going to be like, damn, how can I get her number? Why do you want her number? Think about it for a second. Why do you want her number? You want her number to connect with her. You see what I'm saying? So it's the reason when we see a woman we like, the goal is to connect with that woman, right? To feel all other receptors or to release your energy into her system to carry your a copy of you, put it like that, a copy of you. So 
when you see her from a distance you um basically create that attraction you attracted to her you know she attracts you you know so what happened you want to connect with that woman so when you spit your line or let's say she's interested in you or you're able to get her attention you're able to get her numbers okay so everything's going well you see the thing most guys need to understand you have to make sure you learn how to stimulate a woman's mind first is the reason becoming needy and chasing after her gonna turn her off it's not gonna be good for the mind because it's not being constantly stimulated women love to be stimulated because they love dopamine right so when you're connecting with a woman you use receptors receptors basically receive receive information from the outside world and transfer it to the nerves and go to the nerves into the mind so what ha just remember receptors guys very important okay so the thing we have to understand we have nerves all over our body we are made of nerves guys bunch of freaking nerves they are very sensitive if you touch them they will be stimulated it's the reason if a woman not interested in you she's not going to let you touch her face bro no way if she's not interested in you she's not going to let you touch her body no way you won't be able to touch her body because they're also nerves right so she's not letting you get to her other senses you use vision you use smell but other receptors you're not going to be able to um use them if she's not interested in you all right guys and um so the thing to keep in mind the receptors when you if, if, if a woman decides to let you connect with her not only you're going to use all your senses like the sight and smell you're going to use you're going to use the tongue receptors you see our tongues has a lot of receptors guys look on the side the reason we taste sour it's because of the side of the tongue okay keep that in mind we taste sour because of the um side of the tongue and we taste sweetness the tip of the tongue is the reason you see a woman she would lick a guy or she would lick the face she would lick whatever she would use the tip of her tongue because it's what is where sweetness located bitter all the way at the back of the tongue okay guys and salt the border of the tongue so very important to understand that the tongue play a huge role don't you see when a woman want to tease us she would stick her tongue out to show you um, those receptors you know, it's a sort of tease and automatically, man, your hypothalamus just stimulate. I want her. I need her. I need to make a copy of myself. I need to use her to make a copy of myself. It's the hypothalamus and making decisions for us by sending chemicals into our system. And it feel good. We walk towards it. Don't you see when you're kissing a woman, the um, saliva gland just secrete a lot of liquid to moisturize um, the mouth and stuff. And also um the woman vagina will release a lot of liquid to moisturize or to lubricate the vagina for you to experience the sensation and a woman she would use smell is the reason women they always smell very good and the sense of smell guys connects straight into memory so when a woman smells very good she directly just boom poke the nerves poke the hypothalamus and boom you automatically interested in her okay and the woman would use hip to show that she has a wider hip because it shows that okay i can carry your energy not only i can carry your energy it's gonna guarantee that your energy is gonna come out um in the world successfully because a wider hip means sh uh, she'll be able to reproduce or to push the baby very easily you see what i'm saying a lot of things we don't pay attention to because we don't focus on them and we don't focus on the connection to make sense why we do certain things uh yeah kind of a little bit of difficult it's very difficult to understand in a way okay so now um a woman she would have all kind of look at the body for instance you have the facial nerves when you're making out of with a woman man yo 
touch the face. She's interested in you. Don't be afraid to touch her, to feel her, to feel all her curves. Don't rush into things. Try to understand the a connection. If you're able to feel very good or understand the connection, the woman going to feel the energy even more. It's the reason a woman, they want you to be very confident in the bedroom. They want you to know what you're doing. They want you to take control. They want you to be very strong. They want you to have stamina. A lot of different things that they want you to have. But if you're able to understand yourself, you'll be able to, you know, satisfy a woman sexually. And if you can satisfy a woman sexually, then you know she's going to become hooked because sex is is a big deal and if if you can show your confidence in the bedroom man, she's gonna show you my respect she's gonna appreciate you actually but there's a but there's one problem okay although you let's say you satisfy your woman sexually in the beginning stage of course you satisfy her sexually you get to touch her nerves you get to do all the good things to moisture out you know where all the nerves located the problem gonna happen that the receptors, let's go back to receptors, gentlemen. The receptors stop responding to the same energy over and over because we are adaptable creature. Keep in mind, our instincts, the goal is to make a copy of ourselves. When you see a woman, they send all kind of chemical into the system to tell you that, yo, you got to love that woman or to connect with that woman. And you feel really really good you feel like you in love you feel like yo you want to be with this person forever oh you can see future your future with that woman you know you want to start a family everything gonna be good we're gonna be happy forever type of vibe it's the chemicals into your system and you creating interpretation into your mind but the minute you get that woman pregnant the instinct gonna know that and the receptors gonna stop responding because you already achieved the goal to connect and she's carrying the energy already you see of course the woman she's going to become more attached to you because all her nerves basically become super super activated her smell become 10 times better her sight become 10 times better her skin glowing and stuff it's because of all the hormones the chemicals she's carrying inside of her you see the power of chemicals right but your receptors not responding anymore and it's the reason the longer people go into relationship the harder it becomes to have sex and the guy not becoming erect anymore the woman become dry it's not the people's fault to be quiet honest with you it's just the receptors not activated because we are a, a um adjustable creatures we adjusted to every single thing we adjusted to our environment very quick you see what I'm saying? So when the receptors stop responding, our interpretation usually like, yo, I don't feel the spark anymore. I'm not interested anymore. It's not the same anymore. My interest is gone. Um, the spark is gone. We use all kinds of different meaning, all kinds of interpretation in our mind to explain why the receptor is not activated. You see some guys, they're trying so hard to the point they go towards Viagra to um, become erected because... Uh, Viagra stimulate the um, the limbic structure for you to become erect, right? Or whatever, if they have some sort of like pills for what I don't know what women use, but when the guy become very erected, then he able to have sex. But but like I said, it's because of the receivers, right? The receivers not activated is become it's because he can't become erect. But if you give him a new stimulus a new woman for instance or you give the woman a new man or if the if the man stimulate her mind because new right the receptors boom activated right on the spot and it's the reason a lot of people cheat you see when you think about cheating look at the meaning of cheating for instance cheating when a woman cheat on you she basically gave it to someone else you know she gave that energy that connection all the receptors to someone else and it's the reason when a woman start cheating she can't focus on her spouse or uh, her boyfriend anymore her focus on the on um the other guy because the guy stimulate or activate the receptors to evoke the sexual instinct you see what i'm saying so guys it's very important to understand usually you know 
when if you deep in a relationship like further and you see that um you don't feel the same way anymore it's because the brain doesn't care about like yo whatever lovey dovey things you have in your mind it only care about making a copy of itself and to find a mate it pushes you at first but after it reach the mate to carry your energy then it goes right back to the resting state fleeting emotion it goes back right to normal and the receptor's not working anymore i would say to couples especially if you have a family especially if you have kids just know um because the instinct or the brain doesn't care just focus on the family focus on the kids instead because to be honest with you the further you go down the relationship the more the receptor is not going to become activated you know um therapists can tell you go somewhere else to do some uh, uh, yo listen if it's the same person it's not going to be the same it's the reason we always say the first time always the best all right guys so try to understand the nerves pay attention try to understand a woman body the feminine energy you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna enjoy it for sure okay just don't become addicted and don't become attached don't let it hijack your mind learn to control your emotion to have control over yourself all right guys so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button for more great content if you have anything to say let it out in the comment section see you next time ciao